Hello everyone, it's DA here with another Division 2 in-depth analysis video. This is not a build video, but I will highlight some things that will help you in your own build or whenever you watch build videos on this weapon. With the Backfire Exotic, you get some seriously high critical damage numbers that stacks every time you hit enemies, but it also bleeds you based on the amount of damage that you deal before you reload. Today I will show you some secrets that a lot of people, even some content creators don't know about this SMG. So the exotics description says that the amount of bleed damage you take is based on the amount of damage you deal, but that's not actually true. The real truth is that the amount of bleed damage you take is based on the amount of scaling damage you deal. In this case, bleed damage now equals the amount of positive stacks that you gain. The code for this exotic makes it so that this weapon bleeds you by calculating using the amount of stacks that you ramp up between reload times. But if you didn't gain any stacks, you will not take any bleed damage. This is why I say the bleed is not based on the amount of damage you dealt, it is based on the stacks you built. How can you identify this, you ask? Well, after you have reached 200 stacks, two reloads after that will no longer cause you to bleed. And this is because you no longer gain any stacks after you reach 200 stacks, which is the cap. So you guys are seeing where I'm going with this. And to maintain this, you just have to make sure that you hit enemies at least every nine or 10 seconds so you can keep that effect up and not lose that 200 stacks or go into a reset stage. So this is one of those really cool things that you want to keep in mind. So how can you maintain this? Well, having good handling, faster reloads, or even more ammo in the magazine can help you get 200 a lot faster and also help you reload a lot faster so you're able to get back to shooting and building more stacks before you bleed to death or you reach that threshold. So why is it very important to know this? Well, this is important because now you don't have to worry about re-rolling every piece of armor with hazard protection. Now, this doesn't mean rolling hazard protection is useless or pointless. It just means you don't have to solely depend on it. Now you can just dedicate your three slots for bleed resistance mods. What are some of the easier ways to build up 200 stacks with ease? Well, the first one is going to be using three piece true patriot pieces. True Patriot will give you more ammo in your magazine. And also you reach 200% at your own pace and at your own time. The next one is going to be combining Striker with Sharpshooter. Because Striker gives you more handling and Sharpshooter also gives you more stability, you're going to be able to benefit from hitting your targets and also getting a faster reload time, which is some of the things that you want to keep in mind. Now, as you guys can already see on the screen, all you need is that high armor, high armor enough to withstand the first few seconds or first few reloads and you're going to be okay. Now this is not a build video, this is a guide and a companion to other build videos out there that are talking about this weapon. Now if you're going to be playing in PvP with this, then I will suggest going for maybe 90% hazard protection because you're not going to have enough targets or enough time to get your 200 stacks, so you have to keep that in mind. Anyways. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.